Looking at this in slow motion, you'd ask, why is LeBron choosing to drive left, away from the basket, straight into all 5 Clippers defenders who are keeping an eye on him? And that is his greatest strength, being the ultimate chess player. James knows exactly how much the defense is focused on him, so oftentimes he'll attack not even thinking about scoring, but rather to attract a help defender. And as we stop it right here, take a look at how the entire Clippers team is around him, leaving two guys completely wide open. LeBron finds Kuzma in the corner and Kyle splashes the three. Let's dive deeper into the mastermind of LeBron James against the Clippers. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. If you just looked at the numbers and saw 6 for 19 shooting and very modest 16 points, you may think that it was a bad game for him. But watching it live, you could see that he was in fact amazing, running the show on offense and especially defensively. Let me explain. He did have 9 rebounds and 7 assists, which some of them were flashy like this one, but then also look at a situation like this. Check out how comfortable James is with the ball, surveying the floor and not not shying away from the double team. In a true quarterback fashion, the king reads the defense, picks his man and delivers a pass for the wide open shot. Here is a play that ended up with a miss, so no statistical credit, but look at the vision and the strength to find Danny Green on the opposite side, all that while in the air. This is one of the signature plays that he does and I love it. Another one late in the fourth, LeBron curls around the screen but keeps an eye on the defense, sees that Kawhi is helping out on Davis and whips a bullet pass straight to Green again. Man, Danny would love to get these two opportunities again. So yeah, this was a great game to see LeBron's point guard skills on display. But then check out the defense, clamping down on Kawhi Leonard. He had spurts of very aggressive defense throughout the game, but then really kicked it up another gear in the fourth quarter with the game on the line. All of that culminated with the last two defensive possessions where he did not allow Kawhi to move and made him give up the ball, a sequence that ultimately ended up in a steal here for the Lakers. And of course the ending. First, staying attached to Leonard, then not biting on the pump fake, switches on to Paul George and look at this pitbull defense that brought PG almost back to half court before missing a desperation shot at the buzzer. Great game by James and in my opinion, he was feeling things out here in the return, strategizing with the pacing, when he eased off and when he pushed hard. All in all, even at age 35, this is the level of basketball that we can see from LeBron. Maybe not every game because again, he's playing chess here, so he will save his best for when it matters the most. That's it for now, like this video and subscribe for more in-depth analysis. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.